This video is brought to you by the Battle Zoo Bestiary, a new book with over 100 award winning monsters and other resources from Paizo lead designer Mark Cypher. Sign up today at kickstarter.rollforcombat.com and join the campaign when it launches on August 31st. Hey everybody, Dave here with another Pathfinder rule reminder for you, and today we're going to be talking about sleeping in armor and what the, the effects of doing so are. So first off, yes, there is a penalty that is applied when you sleep in your armor. So if you have players who are out adventuring, they come to the end of the adventuring day, they want to sleep, they want to do a rotation of watches and so forth. Uh, some of them may not want to take off their armor for fear that they are going to be attacked in the middle of the night and not have time to properly dress themselves in that armor to, to deal with that threat. So what are the, the negative downsides of doing so? Well, the rules point out that when you sleep in your armor, then you do not get a, a, a good night's sleep. It's very difficult to be comfortable and sleep an entire night when you're wearing something like, like plate mail. And the result of that is you wake up the next morning fatigued. And when a character is fatigued, then they cannot use uh, any exploration activities at all, and they suffer a negative one status penalty to their armor class in all savings throws. Now there is an important exception to this, and that is if your armor has the comfort trait. And the comfort trait is going to be any kind of armor that is designed to be comfortable at all times, and in the core rulebook that's going to limit your choices to either explorer's clothing or padded armor. Now suits of heavy armor do include an undercoat of padded armor, so a character who wears heavy armor at night can take off that heavy armor, sleep in the padded armor which has the comfort trait, and if they are ambushed in the middle of the night, they're not completely undefended, they would still get the, the benefits and value of wearing padded armor, which is not as, as great as heavy armor, but it's better than nothing. So this might raise the question of how long does it take to put on or take off your armor. So if you're wearing a light armor, it's going to take one minute to put it on or don it. And if you are wearing medium or heavy armor, it's going to take five minutes to put it on or take it off. Uh, neither of those situations are really ideal for the, the middle of chaos in combat. And it's worth mentioning that the rule does say that this is a, a, a span of time that includes multiple interact actions. So I think it's logical to assume that if you have a partner helping you don this armor and they are making three interact actions to assist you every turn that you're spending three interact actions to put it on, that you could conceivably have the time to either put on or take off armor if you have a dedicated partner helping you. Uh, now that is one GM's interpretation of the rules. It's not spelled out in black and white. So uh, every GM out there can make their own determination if they think that's a valid option or not. In some other D20 uh, role-playing systems, uh, specifically Pathfinder 1st Edition, there were rules for hastily donning armor. If you just wanted to just grab a breastplate and throw it on and maybe you don't have time to, to fix every strap and, and get it all, all proper and exactly the way you want it, there was an option for hastily donning the armor and then rushing into uh, whatever threat you're being faced with. There is no hard rule for hastily donning armor in 2nd Edition. Uh, in first edition, I believe the rule was you could do it. it. They had a table, it wasn't exactly half the time, but it was, except for heavy armor, I think it was roughly half the time or a little less. And if you hastily donned, you would suffer a, uh, your armor class and armor check penalties would just be worsened by one each from where they would normally be. Uh, that is not an official rule in 2nd edition that I'm aware of, but if uh, you had a player that wanted to rush and put on their armor, that might be a guideline a GM could use if they want to. Uh, roughly half the amount of time to put it on, but the armor check penalty and the uh, armor class bonus would both be worsened by one for doing it in a rush. So that's it for, for this rule reminder. Again, there are penalties for sleeping in armor. That penalty is you gain the fatigued condition in the morning when you wake up. The fatigued condition imposes a negative one status penalty to armor class and saving throws, and you cannot 
uh, take any exploration activities while you are fatigued. Removing fatigue takes a full night of rest, and any armor that has the comfort trait, like explorer's clothing or padded armor, uh, is, is immune to that effect. So you can sleep in any armor that has the comfort trait. As always, I appreciate when you folks leave your comments and your suggestions for future rule reminders. I'll make sure to leave in the description of this video a link to my full deep dive video on armor and anything else that might be related to this topic. I'll make sure to include it there. And I want to take just a quick moment to say thank you to everybody out there who supports me in this channel, whether that's through liking the video, subscribing to the channel, leaving your comments, your suggestions, your questions, your thoughts, sharing these videos. It all adds up and I greatly appreciate every Thing the community does to, to support me. And with that, thanks for watching. Take care and happy gaming.